I greet each one another in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I really thank God because God has given me good opportunity to preach right living word of truth. Hope that you are fine. I really thank God because God has given me good opportunity to preach his good news and also to preach rightly dividing word of truth. My beloved brothers and sisters, today my topic is, shall we follow the old covenant or new covenant? There are so many people are confused. And they ask me, shall we follow old covenant or new covenant? They have so many doubts. What does the Bible speak? Can we follow the old covenant or new covenant? Because the old covenant, old covenant was given by Moses, to whom God gave old covenant, Israel and Jews. But new covenant given to Christianity. But they speak, some, some preachers they speak, we have to follow the old covenant. We see in the old covenant 840 commandments. If they do any mistakes, they have to be beaten by stones. They should be killed. In the old covenant, we see a physically kingdom, not a spiritually kingdom. Saul is a king. He ruled 40 years. After he died, after God left him, he God leave him, and David he become a king, and he could also rule forty years. Now after that his son Solomon he become a king, he also ruled same. So in the new covenant there is no physical kingdom. He has a, we have a spiritual kingdom. My kingdom is different. Your kingdom is different. Jesus Christ spoke very clearly. If my kingdom is like that, angels will come from heaven and kill everybody. So he spoke about a spiritual kingdom. Kingdom means church. Those who are called from the darkness into his kingdom, they are called church. Church is kingdom. But go to in the Bible, book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in, in the day that I know I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, say the Lord. Us 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts. Inward parts. Remember the scripture. I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the Lord for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them Say the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. God says, I will, I will remember their sin no more. We see some offerings here in the old covenant. If they do sin, they have to go to a tabernacle and they have to take one lamb and they have to sacrifice. They have to give burn offering. Uh, we see uh, five offerings in the in the Bible. So they, if they do any sin, they have to give offering to God. Or lamb, or uh, you know, ox, they have to bring 
and they have to give offering before the tabernacle and also we see priest and also high priest high priest has to go to into tabernacle yearly once and he has to uh, sacrifice and he has to come out so priest he he goes to every day but high priest he cannot go every day he goes to yearly once so god spoke very clearly i will write my covenant in their hearts but i will i will not remember their sins no more we see some scripture in the bible corinthians uh, second book chapter 3 verse 3 here paul says do we being again to command ourselves not command command ourselves or need we as some other epistles for commendation to you to letters of commendation from you you are our epistle written in our hearts know and read all of men for as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of christ ministered by us written not with ink but with the spirit of the living god not in tables of stones but in fleshly tables of the heart was for on such a trust have we through christ to god world not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves but our sufficiency is of god was six who also has made us able ministers of the new testament not not of the letter but of the spirit were for letter kill but the spirit give life scripture says this new covenant not written by stones not by ink god wrote this new testament in their hearts we see this uh, old covenant 10 commandments god wrote 10 commandments by his finger right by his finger he wrote Ten Commandments. You know, everybody knows the Ten Commandments. Moses, he break out the Ten Commandments because of he he break he break down the Ten Commandments. God spoke to Moses again. We have to engrave two stones. Then you have to take and come out upon mountain. again i will write 10 commandments by my finger so moses when he broke the two stones again god has given punishment to engrave two stones moses again he engraved two stones in telugu engrave means chekkuta మోజ మోషే ఆ రెండు పలకలను మళ్ళా చెక్కాడు ఈ హెన్గ్రీవ్ టూ స్టోన్స్ అండ్ హీ టుక్ హీ వెంట్ అపన్ ది మౌంటైన్ గాన్ హీ వ్రోట్ అగైన్ టూ కమాండ్మెంట్స్ బట్ హియర్ నాట్ రిటర్న్ బై ఇంక్ నాట్ బై రిటర్న్ స్టోన్స్ న్యూ కవనెంట్ వాజ్ రిటర్న్ ఇన్ ది స్పిరిట్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ బై హోలీ స్పిరిట్ యు మే స్పీక్ if new covenant written by holy spirit by whom the old covenant written not by holy spirit but bible says old covenant was given by moses even god spoke to moses even angels also mediators in the old covenant jesus christ is a mediator for new covenant that new covenant was written not by stones not by ink so but written by spirit of god in their hearts because uh, was was uh, seven but if the ministers of death written on engraven 
in stones was glory so that children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses the glory of his which glory was to be done away was eight how shall not the minister of the spirit be rather glorious for if the minister of ministration of condemnation be glory much more do the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory for even that which was made glory said no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excel this is more glory new covenant my beloved brothers some people speak we follow sabbath day we give tithe you should not give tithe you should not follow sabbath day but we have to follow new covenant we should not uh, follow festivals we see there are so many people uh, we speak we follow um, gudarala festival like you know pentecostal festival and also tabernacle festival and also it's like uh, there are so many festivals we see in the old covenant but new covenant doesn't speak that we should follow festivals jesus christ never spoken to anybody that you have to follow the old covenant jesus christ spoke so many times follow me he spoke that we should follow jesus christ jesus christ followed old covenant because every scripture was written written for jesus christ he has to fulfill that old covenant therefore he followed jesus christ apostle we see apostles preaching they never spoken to everybody follow the old covenant follow the law follow moses follow abraham follow isaac follow noah follow anoch follow david follow elijah no they never spoken that we should follow the old covenant or we should follow prophets but bible says very clearly we should follow new covenant because on judgment day god will judge us judge us by new covenant through new covenant jesus christ, jesus christ which he spoke on last day on judgment day he will he will judge by his word not by the old covenant my beloved brothers if you are in darkness come into the new covenant new covenant will give life we have spiritual blessings in new covenant our sins our sins were forgiven by new covenant not by old covenant if you follow the old covenant but we have to read the old covenant some people ask me question if we don't follow the old covenant shall we break shall we break old covenant book and will hold the new covenant no no bible doesn't speak not break the old covenant we we have to read the old covenant to find the truth how they did mistake how they could not reach to canaan how they did sin how they have how they how they could not follow god how they have disobedience when we read the uh, old covenant we find their disobedience their violence how how they did uh, god's how did they violate god's commandments we see we have to read the old covenant we have to read the old covenant but we should not follow the old covenant we have to follow the new covenant because apostles their doctrine they proclaimed about jesus christ if we preach in case we preach we can preach noah that noah a uh, period of noah god sent flood and everybody died only noah family was saved right we find that we preach sometime abraham we preach isaac jacob and king david and solomon about uh, judges uh, we speak sometime about prophets and we speak sometime which was prophesy about jesus christ in the old covenant very good but we cannot follow old covenant or sabbath day or festivals 
or circumcision or tabernacle worship. There are so many commandments in the old covenant <coughs> because we God has promised on that day, I will give new covenant before Therefore, he declared old covenant. It means it will come new covenant. Before old covenant, that name is called old covenant. It means it will come another covenant. It called new covenant. That new covenant was made by blood of Jesus Christ. He is the mediator of new covenant. Everybody should be saved by new, new covenant, not by old covenant. There are so many people in the world, they cannot speak basic Bible, even though they don't know what they are preaching, but they speak every day about history of Abraham. When you listen about Christ's crucifixion, his resurrection, he was crucified, then you can be repented, your sins will be forgiven, not by Abraham not by Noah. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, follow the new covenant. Watch, watch rightly dividing word of truth. Thank you so much. May God bless you.